what kind of magic happens when everything just clicks, and how do you get there? Let's find out. This is the feeling is the secret like you've never heard it before. In this video, we are going to explore three keys. Number one, how. The role of confidence and belief. Number two, the method. The process for getting into the feeling. And number three, success tips. These are not to be missed. They are all vital game changers. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. I publish new videos every week to empower smarter manifesting. Arthur C. Clarke famously said, magic's just science that we don't understand yet. When you understand how something works, you no longer relegate it to the mysterious category of magic. You have increased belief, confidence, expectation, and can easily move from dreaming to being. For example, when you decide you want to ride a bike, you see the mechanisms, you understand the mechanics. You get on and you ride confidently. Even if you waver, instead of being filled with doubt and fear, you know that as you persist, you will master bike riding. Visualization and getting into the feeling as if is no different than the process of mastering riding your bike. Why is getting into the feeling so effective? Neville Goddard calls it, feeling is the secret. As he stated in chapter four of Out of This World, we illuminate or darken the nature of our lives with our concept of ourselves. Self-concept is no mystery. It's very well researched and put into practice in various fields, such as high performance, psychology, athletics, and even healthcare. Dr. Maxwell Maltz pioneered the modern understanding of the mechanisms behind how self-concept and visualization translates into positive outcomes. He compared self-concept to a thermostat. With the thermostat set, you can open and close windows and the temperature in your home is gonna remain roughly the same. You can see the self-concept thermostat in action in your everyday life with people you know. You've probably seen people who hustle and struggle with sincere intentions, yet never raise their income beyond a certain level or achieve vitality goals or break free from patterns of strained personal relationships. And then you probably know other people for whom it seems that everything they touch turns to gold. This is the self-concept thermostat in action. Unlike the theory and allegory based teachings of mystics and philosophers, Maltz focused on understanding this process from the perspective of human physiology and psychology. The self-concept theory has become a cornerstone of modern psychology and the technique of visualization is being used for everything from enhanced sports performance to career success to physical healing. The practice of using Neville Goddard's The Feeling is the Secret is not mysterious or magic. It's based on using the visualization process to update your self-concept. When you do this practice, you are changing the setting on your life thermostat and you will get the correlated results. Just like people using it for physical healing, athletic performance, and other evolutions in life. Let's jump into the method. I suggest rewatching this video daily during your practice to bolster your understanding because neurons that fire together, wire together. This is a best practices formula that you can start using today. It's based on Neville Goddard's teachings about the feeling is the secret. You want to begin with an unwavering commitment to repetition, the process, and yourself. Don't forget how magnificent and precious you are, how much you matter, and how much your life matters, commit to you. It's a good idea to commit to no less than eight nights of visualization practice as you're falling asleep. It takes time for the body and the mind to relax and allow itself 
to become fully immersed in the experience and therefore to adopt the feeling and the upgraded self-concept. Repetition is key. The more you practice, the more easily you will be able to quickly become one with the feeling. And as you master this, then you can apply it more and more quickly to your future manifesting goals. Use planning and clarity, just like you would for any other goal in life. As Neville Goddard states, desire, define your objective, know definitely what you want, and construct an event that implies fulfillment of your desire. Get clarity on your end result. As Neville says, we want to experience in imagination what we would experience in the flesh were we to achieve our goal. Set your self-empowered intention for this process. You are not laboring to fulfill a desire, but merely allowing yourself to recognize and experience something that you already are. As Neville states, your desire is not something you labor to fulfill. It is recognizing something you already possess. Allow yourself a time, times, and a half. As stated in chapter six of Seed Time and Harvest, in response to the question, how long shall it be until the wonderful dreams that I am dreaming become a reality? A time means to perform the imaginary action which implies fulfillment of the wish. Times means to repeat the imaginary action over and over again. And a half means the moment of falling asleep while performing the imaginary action. In other words, you repeat the imaginary action over and over again so it can become and feel real to you. As you repeat this process, you're going to end up falling asleep in this state, which sets it in your subconscious mind. This may take several nights to achieve, and you will begin to recognize that you are adopting the feeling and taking on ownership of this new self-concept. And you will realize one day upon waking up that you indeed had drifted off to sleep the night before with this glorious sense of self in your mind. When this happens, you will notice a shift in your confidence. You will notice you're taking ownership of the new self-concept, and you'll see that the desire and the sense of urgency around your goal begins to recede. As Neville states, you cannot continue desiring something you have already realized. Ideally, you want to visualize every night as you drift off to sleep in the state of the feeling. Now let's look at some best practices. Visualize in the first person where you are having the experiences firsthand. It's not like you're watching a movie of yourself. Keep in mind, you'll never see your own face in your visualization unless you're looking in a mirror. Focus on developing the details of the feelings of the experience in the state of the desire realized. For example, if you're enjoying a dinner out with your soulmate, imagine the sounds of dishes clanking off in the distance when the waiter walks through the kitchen door and the savory smell of the entree when he walks past your table and that excited look that you exchange with your mate as you both anticipate the arrival of your own meal and the tingly feeling of excitement that this sparks through your heart energy. Engage all of your five senses. Explore different ways to do so each night and have fun with it. Really let your senses and your imagination run wild. This whole process should be as real and as fun and as light as you would feel if you were experiencing watching the sunrise over the ocean. Focus on the feeling of the desired state achieved and not how it will be achieved. Settling on a how will only serve to limit the possibilities. Always keep the primary focus on the end result. I like to say, and I've certainly found through my own experience, that the universe has better plans for me than I could ever make for myself. 
Go about your daily activities in good cheer, controlling your thoughts and focus to remain in positive states that support your desired reality. Here are three practical tips. Number one, if you find yourself worrying or wondering, remember that this too is imagination. You can choose instead to return to your visualization of the end result. Number two, spend that time imagining with full emotion the same good fortune falling upon a dear friend or a loved one. This is a lovely gift to give others, and it's a powerful practice to raise your vibration around the topic. Number three, call upon this wonderful quote from Rumi. Wherever you stand, be the soul of that place. We can all choose to allow our very best selves to be fully present in just what we're doing, who we are with, and what is going on at any moment in time. Pray in secret. Resist the urge to share what you are doing, your goals, and your activities with others. As Neville says, we sleep collectively and awake individually. Because of how the law of thought transmission works, you may open yourself up to feelings of doubt and lack projected by others. I created a video explaining how this works. I'll put the link in the description and a card at the end of this video. Be sure to watch that if you have not already. I like to think of this as being satisfied with letting people see my results and keeping the process to myself. I see this whole process as a precious gift that we give ourselves as we position ourselves for transformation. This is just about you. Now this tip is very important. Have fun, be light. Let this visualization experience be a gift you give yourself. We are conditioned to feel that things are only real or valid if they are represented in our outside world and apparent to others. However, this intention creates a wall of non-acceptance within us. Allow yourself to let this wall come down and let this be all about reveling in the joys of the imagined experience. Let yourself feel fully into it. It's true that our subconscious does not know the difference between real and imagined. And in imagining, feeling is the secret. Be light, have fun, let yourself feel. When Neville Goddard speaks about the difference between learning something and doing something, he says, for water is the truth and the blood is the application of that truth. And that means that all you need to do now is to put this into practice, the application of the truth. Start today and be sure to watch this video every day during your practice to reinforce the details because neurons that fire together, wire together. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Be sure to subscribe and keep watching. I'll see you in the next video.